Hello there, good day. This is your Sir Paul and today we continue learning more about the motion of objects. Today particularly we learn more about motion in two dimensions, particularly on projectiles. So tara, let's learn. Now to start off with, I want you to ponder on this statement. Let's see. Ayan. Say you are a basketball player. Describe how you would be able to score a three-point shot. Magpalagay natin na kayo ay manlalaro ng basketball. Ano? So, ngayon bilang isang manlalaro ng basketball, ano nang gagawin ninyo para makapag-score kayo ng three-point shot para sa inyong uh, team? So, I would like you to ponder on that. You can pause at this point of the video. Okay, so now why naisipan nyo na mabuti kung ano yung gagawin ninyo if you were a basketball player. Now, let's see this slide. Shooting a ball in a basketball game is an interesting problem in physics. There is a need to aim at the correct angle and throw at the right speed. This requires analysis of both vertical and horizontal components of motion. So, just like I said, thus today, we learn more about projectiles. Basketball and a lot of sports that usually utilize uh, objects that we throw okay, at a certain angle are good examples. Maganda mga examples ito ng mga uh, nakikita natin na application ng concept ng projectile motion in our daily lives. So let's continue. Now, previously, napag-aralan nyo na ang motion ng mga objects horizontally and uh, in the vertical orientation as well as you have uh, studied about uniformly accelerated motion at ang konsepto ng tinatawag natin na free fall. Okay? So, at this point, meron na kayong good grasp ng content, okay, ng concept ng UAM at ng free fall at na-apply nyo na rin. Okay? You have already... Uh, new or you now know how to apply what we call the kinematic equations okay, into uh, problem solving under UAM at saka ng free fall. Now, what about those objects that do exhibit both? What about those objects that have both uh, vertical and horizontal motion? Okay, so that is what we are now going to break down in this video. Let's go on. Now, let us analyze and break down further so that mas maintindihan pa natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng projectile motion. Now, let us define what is a projectile first. Doon muna tayo. Let's see this. So, when we say projectile, it is an object that is thrown horizontally or at some angle with respect to the horizontal. Let me underline there, it is thrown horizontally. So, ibig sabihin, most likely, uh, uh, pwedeng you throw it over a surface, okay, or uh, you throw it at some angle, papaitaas. Okay, yun ang tinatawag natin na projecta. So, as you can see in the arrow here, it says here, it is an object with an initial velocity. Take note, so may initial velocity ang mga projectiles natin, ha? In whose path is determined by the effects of gravity and air resistance. Now, before we go to gravity and air resistance, I would just like to explain. So, ano ibig sabihin ng with respect to the horizontal? Uh, simply, in physics, ang ibig lang pong sabihin yan ay usually when something is with respect to the horizontal, meaning okay, that something is on a flat surface. Ganun ang ibig sabihin nun, okay? In the case of projectile, maybe something must have been thrown with respect to a flat surface. Now, when you say projectiles, there are two things now affecting it. As said in the definition here, you know, it is its path, the path of the projectile is determined by the effects of gravity and air resistance. So there are now two things that affect a projectile, okay, both the force of gravity and air resistance at the same time. At yun ang nagdidikta kung ano ang magiging pathway ng ating projectile. So, more about projectiles. Let's see this slide. Now, yan. 
The path followed by a projectile is called a trajectory. So, remember that term, huh? trajectory. Yan ang pathway na sinusundan ng isang projectile. It also says here, when you ignore the effect of air resistance, the projectile is in a state of free fall because its path is determined entirely by gravity. So when you remove air resistance, we just usually consider objects to be uh, in free fall. Okay, kasi gravity nga lang. But when you already now consider both air resistance and the force of gravity, that is the time that you now regard the object as a projectile. Okay, at this point in this slide, we have a set of questions to further break down the topic of projectile. Now, the two pictures here at the right side of the slide will help you better also in answering these questions. Okay, uh, why are we answering this question, sir? Sabi nga natin sa physics, uh, ang mga bagay-bagay or ang mga topics ay madaling maintindihan if we break them down further. So, let us read to understand more about projectile. First question, projectile motion is a combination of what types of motion? Anong com uh, combination daw ng motion ang projectile? Pangalawa, how are these two types of motion related to each other? So, paano daw related yung dalawang uh, motions na that comprise a projectile? Third, what are the two cases involved when understanding projectiles? Okay, so ito na yung mga sagot dun sa previous slides natin. Okay? So here, when we say projectile motion, it is a combination of uniform horizontal motion and vertical free fall. So, yan ang dalawang klase ng motion that you can see when you are observing a projectile. Okay, kaya nga as we have said, we are now in motion in two dimensions. Why? Because projectile is a combination of both horizontal and vertical motion. Okay, now how is vertical and horizontal motion now related in a projectile? Sabi dito, these two components of projectile motion are independent from each other. Okay, pag sinabing independent from each other, meaning they do not uh, affect one another. Hindi nila inapektuhan ang isa't isa. We will see that in the next slides afterwards. In projectile, the study of projectile, we have two cases. Okay, case one, we go to objects thrown horizontally. Okay, in case two later on, we go to objects thrown at an angle with the horizontal. Okay? Okay, ayan. More breakdown questions to understand further projectile motion. Okay? So, number four. Let's read. What shape does the path of a projectile follow? So, you now know the term, but what is the shape? Number five, a kind of a situational question here. Say, you throw a marble from top of a table and drop one from the same height, which will hit the ground first. Will the marble from the table travel a certain distance? Let's show the answers afterwards of that in the next slide. Six, of the two components of an object thrown horizontally, which is affected then now by gravity. Okay, so ito yung sagot sa mga questions in the previous slides. Let's see. For question number five, a while back, we go to the next slide afterwards. Ayan. Now, when we say, uh, when we say the path, uh, the shape of the path of a projectile, it says here, it follows the shape of a parabola. Okay, so parabolic, as you can see here in our image. Ayan o, nakikita ninyo. Here in our image, let us see with the arrows. Ayan, it follows a parabolic shape. Now, as you can see, the picture here in the slide is uh, for case 1, an object thrown with respect to a horizontal surface or in on a horizontal surface. Okay, for that, Okay, the question to numbers, uh, answer to question number six now, it says here is that for objects thrown horizontally, case one, the vertical component of its motion is affected by gravity, just like a ball drop from rest. Okay, we will learn more about case one in a next video after this. 
Okay, now we have uh, question number five from the previous slides. Okay, uh, here now is a picture para mas ma-visualize natin na mabuti si question number five. Sabi niya nga, pagpalagay natin na you throw a marble from the top of a table, just like now in our table here, okay, in the image. Okay, from the same height, you drop also another marble from the same height as the table. So ngayon, ang, un ang unang tanong, uh, aling marble ang um, mas maunang uh, tatama sa lupa, which will hit the ground first? Pangalawang tanong, alang marble ang magta-travel ng uh, certain distance, alin doon sa dalawa? So, the answer, I'll let you think for a few minutes, and then we will go to the next slide. Okay, now to answer the questions in the previous slides and to also kind of sum it up a little bit already what I have discussed, may we now see this video by Professor Dave. Okay, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, check out natin kasi madalas matututulungan niya rin tayong uh, mag-visualize pa further for physics. Okay, so this video clip of his also you will also now learn ano nga ba ang consequence or nangyayari since independent at hindi related si vertical at si horizontal motion ng isang projectile. Okay, so let's watch and listen. We learned how to use kinematic equations to describe the motion of an object moving horizontally, like a car, as well as objects moving vertically, like objects falling straight down to the ground. But what about objects that move in both of these directions? This type of motion, if it involves an object that is thrown or launched into the air, can be referred to as projectile motion. Imagine a cannonball being fired at some angle from the horizontal. It will travel some distance up into the air before eventually falling back down and hitting the ground some distance away from the cannon. And we can use a parabola to represent the path of this object. The important thing to understand about these kinds of examples is that the horizontal motion and vertical motion of the cannonball are completely independent of one another. This means we can use separate equations to discuss the motion in each direction. One equation that exclusively corresponds to the x-coordinates of the object and another that exclusively corresponds to the y-coordinates of the object. To drive this idea home, consider two marbles, one dropped from a particular height and another that rolls off of a surface at that same height with some horizontal velocity. If these begin falling at the same time, they will strike the ground at the same instant because their vertical motion is independent of any horizontal motion. The one with horizontal velocity will cover some distance in the x direction, but it will fall downwards at the same rate as the one that falls straight down. And so they will have identical air times. Okay, now to answer question number five from the previous slides, okay, and to also take the information na, na kita natin doon sa video ni Professor Dave, let's now see ano nga ba ang consequence ng hindi pagkaka-relate or independence ng vertical at horizontal motion in a projectile. Ano nangyayari? So you were given now this example of the marbles, one on top of a table, and then one drop from a certain height. So anong mangyayari pag independent si vertical at horizontal motion? Here are the results. Both marbles will now hit the ground at the same time. Ibig sabihin, they will reach the ground at the same time, parehas ang oras ng uh, pag-reach nila sa lupa from their uh, dropping height. Okay, so therefore, sabi niya dito, they will have identical air times. And one consequence also, between the two marbles ngayon, okay, yung marble na nasa table natin will now travel a certain distance in the horizontal or in the x direction. So that is now, those are the consequences now of the independence of the horizontal and vertical motion of the a projecta. Now that is all for the basic concept of projectile motion. Always remember to please keep your health in check. And this is your Sir Paul, and I will see you in our next topic.